we've been asked to determine whether the sum from one to infinity of n over n squared plus four converges or diverges. Now this problem is actually one of the examples we were doing in class. And we chose to use the integral test on this one. So if you're just watching this as a YouTube video and you weren't in the class I just referred to, this was one of eight problems and we were actually asked to use a list of eight different ways to tell if a series converges or diverges exactly once. So part of the assignment was assigning particular tests to particular problems in a way that all eight could be done easily. So I'm going to use the integral test to show that this either converges or diverges, but at the end of the video, I'm going to show you another way to answer just this question. Because it's always good to remind ourselves that more than one of our convergence and divergence tests might apply to a problem. But to get started, I know that this improper integral and this series either converge or diverge the same way. So they have the same behavior. So if this improper integral converges, so does this series. If this improper integral diverges, so does the series. So let's just work on this improper integral. I'm going to rewrite it as a limit. It's worth noting that this function I have here, based upon this, right, just swapping the n's for x's, that this is a continuous function. It's a positive function, and it's a decreasing function. It meets all of the requirements of the integral test. And that's really why I'm allowed to do this. Well, looking at the definite integral I have to deal with, I think I can make a substitution. So we'll make our substitution and we're well on our way. And what I see here are the x's assuredly cancel. I'm gonna go and pull a one half out front of the integral and the limit. Just leaving me with this definite integral to deal with. Well, the antiderivative of one over u with respect to u is the natural log of u. Better said, the natural log of the absolute value of u. Well, even with that brief slip of the tongue, I would be okay because b's running off to positive infinity. So five and b squared plus four here are definitely positive numbers, but I'm gonna leave that absolute value in there just to remind myself that it should be there on all such problems. All right, this gives me the natural log of b squared plus four minus the natural log of five. Well, as b runs off to infinity, b squared plus four runs off to infinity, and the natural log as the inside goes to infinity is also infinity. This limit is infinite, which means this improper integral diverges. The integral test lets me conclude that this improper integral and this series have the same behavior. So, by the integral test. The series, that is the sum from one to infinity of n over n squared plus four must also diverge. All right, so that, that kind of finishes off what we set out to do here to prove that this is a divergent series or a series I now know diverges using the integral test. But I did promise that I'd take a look at it using one of our other tests. Because I think it's very natural to look at this series and to naturally want to compare it to this series. Because of the difference in degrees of the numerator and the denominator, I think this is going to behave like the harmonic series, which I know diverges. I'm going to proceed using the limit comparison test. So the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth term of one of the series over the nth term of the other. I get one. And in the conclusion of the limit comparison test, we're told that if we get a value that is larger than zero, then the series we're comparing have to have the same behavior. So both of these series must diverge. 
So the series we started with the sum from one to infinity of n over n squared plus four must diverge. And we know this by the limit comparison test. All right, two different tests giving me the same conclusion. And of course, there are more tests that we know we could apply to show that this series diverges.